This is a crisis that affects everyone. As I've said throughout this campaign, I will be a president for every American. This election is over. It's time to put aside the, part the partisanship and the rhetoric that designed to demonize one another. It's time to end the politicization of basic, responsible public health steps like mask wearing and social distancing. We have to come together to heal the soul of this country so that we can effectively address this crisis as one country where hardworking Americans have each other's backs and we're united in our shared goal, defeating this virus. As we work toward a safe and effective vaccine, we know the single most effective thing we can do to stop the spread of COVID is wear a mask. The head of the CDC warned this fall that for the foreseeable future, a mask remains the most potent weapon against the virus. Today's news does not change that urgent reality. We, I won't be president until January 20th, but my message today is to everyone is this. It doesn't matter who you voted for, whether you stood who, where you stood before Election Day. It doesn't matter your party, your point of view. We can save tens of thousands of lives if everyone would just wear a mask for the next few months. Not Democrat or Republican lives, American lives. You know, maybe we'd save the life of a person who uh, stocks a shelf at your local grocery store. Maybe it saves the life of a member of your place of worship. Maybe it saves the lives of one of your children's teachers. Maybe it saves your life. So please, I implore you, wear a mask. Do it for yourself. Do it for your neighbor. A mask is not a political statement, but it is a good way to start pulling the country together. I want to be very clear. The goal of mask wearing is not to make your life less comfortable is to take something or take something away from you. It's to give something back to all of us, a normal life. The goal is to get back to normal as fast as possible. And masks are critical in doing that. It won't be forever, but that's how we'll get our nation back, back up to speed economically, so we can go back to celebrating birthdays and holidays together, so we can attend sporting events together so we can get back to the lives and connections we shared before the pandemic. It doesn't matter whether or not we always agree with one another. It doesn't matter who you voted for. We are Americans, and our country is under threat. And now we're, we're now called to, to do the same thing that generations of proud Americans have done when faced with a crisis throughout our history. Rise above our differences to defend the strength and the vitality of our nation. You know, that's the character of patriots. That's the character of America. We have to do this together. Wearing a mask may seem like a small act. Maybe you think your individual choice won't make any difference. But throughout our history, throughout the history of our nation, we've seen over and over how small acts add up to enormous achievements. It's the weight of many small acts together that bend the arc of history. You know, I know there's nothing that the American people can't accomplish when we work together as one people with one mission. We can get this virus under control, I promise you. We can rebuild our economy back better than it was before. We can address race-based disparities that damage our country. It's in our power. So let's wear a mask. Let's get to work. Thank you. May God bless you. And for all those who've lost somebody, our heart goes out to you. We know what it's like. Our heart goes out to you. May God protect our health workers, and our health care workers, and all Americans.